Hello, my name is Rob Kingskip. I'm the product manager for the Office Integrations, which covers the PowerPoint add-in and the Excel add-in. And today I'm going to be taking you through a uh, overview of the new Excel add-in. The Excel add-in plays a very important role in the analysis phase of the planning cycle by enabling the analyst persona, who we'll go through in a second, to perform ad hoc analysis on Anaplan data in Excel to help better inform decision makers so they can drive, uh, drive their business with more informed uh, business decisions. This is Anthony. Anthony and his role of informing Danielle, the decision maker, uh, are our key focus for the Excel add-in. And the reasons being is he is able to use the add-in to identify reasons for change, uh, give an overview and respond to questions on performance and easily capture outputs for Danielle to consume. And so he makes the primary persona that we are focusing on for the Excel add-in. The Excel add-in is very simple to install. It and enables very performant extra, extracts of your Anaplan data uh, and can run in parallel to the old version. Personas like Anthony can benefit greatly from the fast access to their data. Uh, with this latest version being up to eight times faster than our previous version, it empowers the end user to define the data they need directly within, uh, within Excel without the need of support from a model builder. And it is all completed within a very familiar UI. It's worth mentioning that we still have a version 2.6 in market with the objective being to deliver uh, feature parity with 2.6 in the new version three series so that we are able to start moving everyone from the old version 2 uh, add-in to the new version 3 series. But more information will be available on that in the coming releases. The two key items remaining for the version 3 series are the ability to extract saved views and the ability to write back data from Excel into Anaplan, both of which are in the pipeline. But more on that in future releases. To get hold of the add-in you can simply go to Anapedia and download it. Uh, once you have it you can install it or get your IT team to install it and log in and connect to Anaplan. It is worth noting that if you are watching this and you currently have the version 3 of the add-in installed you must make sure you uninstall version 3 before installing version 3.1. There is more information available on that on the uh, Anapedia site. There is no additional pricing associated. Uh, it is available to anyone with a subscription. And on that, I'm now going to take you through a quick demo of the new functionality. So here I'm jumping into an existing worksheet uh, and uh, it is backwards compatible, so version 3 workbooks work with version 3.1 and I'm going to start by showing you the uh, refresh all, or refresh workbook interface. We've made updates to this interface so it's very clear and transparent what is going on and where so the customers or users rather are informed contextually uh, on the refresh action as it takes place. As you can see that was very clear. The other item just for this last refresh in Anaplan I've gone in and added two additional list items. I will now refresh this and you will see our new refresh report uh, demonstrated which allows customers to be able to see what has changed within Anaplan and how it will impact the data they have within Excel. So these two new items have been added into product. And if I close that and I go to my sales forecast tab, I can see that my 
two new items, gingerbread and Jaffa cakes, have been added in. This is a configurable setting, and if it is turned off, then uh, the items will be available in Pivot and Filter, just unselected. So now I'm going to demonstrate the the toolbar now maintains your selection, but I want to demonstrate a couple other features whilst you see that taking place. I'm going to jump in to see uh, my time dimension and add in FY15. This will very quickly find where to insert it in the sheet and uh, do so. You can also see that Russia has been maintained. Now, I can quickly see that quarter levels has really thrown off my uh, graph. So without having to go back into Pivot and Filter, I can just delete them from the table. And if I jump back into Pivot and Filter, you will see that these items have also been unselected from my filter. This is the beginning of a step to break down the barrier between Excel and the add-in so it's more intuitive and efficient to interact with Anaplan data within the Excel add-in. So now I want to talk to you about how we are enabling our users to define how they want the add-in to operate and we've done this with uh, the introduction of a settings section uh, so for this next piece, I want to remove and apply Anaplan styling, and I also want to remove the display connection description. So I hit OK. If I refresh now, the connection details will disappear. But if I need that information, I can see that from the hover over that is now available in the toolbar. As Anthony, the analyst, I want to customize my output so I can distribute it to Danielle. I can now remove my borders and I can set the colors and formatting to how I require it from a cell color perspective. I can also change my font to any desired font I require. I want to make total is a bit bigger and I want this sheet to be the Russia sales forecast. So now once I have the display that uh, Danielle, my decision maker, is used to, I can very quickly jump into the Anaplan tab, hit clone connection, so that will take all the information in this sheet including my graphs and the Anaplan connection and clone it so you can now see two sheets at the bottom And I can change this to a mirror. Hit refresh, that will update. And By updating the sheet name, my document is now ready to be shared with Danielle as she expects it. So you can see that you can see from this very brief demo that we've really been focusing on how to enable the analyst to be more efficient and more capable within the add-in, and having done so by really polishing the performance of a lot of our functionality. The, the main item being that this version is up to eight times faster than version three. So you can really enable Anthony the Analyst to be even more efficient within the add-in. So that's my brief demo. Um, just to give you an idea of the feedback that we had during our beta, uh, the intentions are being met with the intuitive design, the more dynamic interaction, and the increased flexibility. So I hope you enjoy the new Excel add-in and I look forward to hearing your feedback.